Hello there, my Scorpio Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh my goodness, Scorpio. There's a lot of conflict energy around you, Scorpios. What the fuck's up with that vibe? Ooh, there's that King of Swords energy. That's that sort of Aquarius energy. Switching things up. Nice change of uh, uh, atmosphere, right? Yeah, Eight of Swords there with that Three of Cups energy. Ooh, be mindful of the vibes you tap into, <laughs> Scorpio. Some of you, that could be with uh, your astrology charts, right? That Aquarius influence. Ace of Swords at the bottom. So what are you doing? Ooh, here's, we got the Nine of Swords energy and the Ace of Cups. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. The beautiful healing energy here. Page of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, the Three of Swords. And there's that Emperor energy. My, oh, my. Damn, Scorpio. Some of you are definitely taking back uh, your energy, your time, right? Beautiful peace, love, and light energy with you, with this uh, Ace of Cups and this Ace of Pentacles. So you got the Page of Cups, the King of Wands, the Four Swords, and there's that Page of Pentacles. There's a lot of new energy, but I do feel like you have a lot of sort of stuck, stagnant energy around you as well. The Page of Pentacles there with the Will of Fortune. There is like an interesting opportunity for you, but some of you, you kind of got to see it. You know what I mean? So there's something that you could be thinking about. There's something that you could be wanting to do uh, that is solely for you, that makes all the difference, but you're sort of hesitating. But it feels like it doesn't require a whole hell of a lot from you, uh, Scorpio, in order for this to sort of happen. A lot of you, uh, go for the project that you want to go for. Do what you want to do. Some of you, there's something that you've been wanting to do, something you've been wanting to work on, something that's really important to you. Right? It's sort of time that you made that choice. This does bring about a lot of sort of conflict energy, though. This Knight of Pentacles here, this inconclusive Ten of Swords. Damn. <coughs> so there's the Hierophant, the Three of Pentacles, the Six of Swords. Ooh, there's that Queen of Cups energy. What's over that Queen of Cups magician energy? Ooh, five of Swords. Five of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, damn. Damn, some of you are Scorpios. Relationships and partnerships with you. Someone is heartbroken because I do feel like they missed out on, on an opportunity with you, but it was really kind of toxic. Someone was just focused on this Pentacle energy. So this switch up with you, you like changed it up. Some of you, these opportunities that come in for you really switch it up. You got cross watcher energy, but uh, I don't know how much of that is actually sort of working, right? Cross watchers watch because they can't see. So, damn, Scorpio, you're so focused on yourself. Some of you, I think your astrology could sort of factor in on that with that sort of Knight of Pentacles. This is very interesting for you. Ace of Swords with the Knight of Wands. The Lovers. The Ace of Wands, the Hang One energy, and there's that Four of Wands energy with that Eight of Cups. Damn. To Libra, the World, and the Sun. My oh my. That balance coming in. Some of you, I think the Aquarius energy really sort of uh, swept away a lot of that sort of. Uh, Sort of cobweb energy that you might have been sort of stuck or stagnant in. Really made a difference. Some of you, there's a relationship or partnership that there was more manipulation there over the Ten of Pentacles than anything else. So, Scorpios, be mindful. Uh, some of you, you didn't miss an opportunity. You missed a heartbreak. You have the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. And didn't you have the Ace of Swords? What is this vibe with you? I don't know. Did you have the Ace of Swords? So, 
Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Very fun and interesting. So, Five of Swords with the Five of Cups, right? You've made choices. You've made choices. So, some of you, your love life, work, love, whatever the hell this vibe is with you. Definitely trusted your gut, your guidance, and your intuition here. This energy with you is very fucking interesting. Lotus Room, take up space. Growth, expansion, awakening. Damn. Yeah, well, that explains the Hierophant energy. Some of you looking at things differently. Father, Son, Holy Ghost energy there with that Three of Pentacles. Take what you are, Scorpio, and leave what the fuck isn't. I don't feel like this heartbroken energy is yours. So you made choices. You got the Will of Fortune energy there. So some of you doing your shadow work, right? Some of you making healthier choices. This uh, vibe with you is completely different. Some of you, it's the connections. What, what's really important, right? Work, love, life energy with you on this, Scorpio. Lotus Room energy. You've got the Tower there, the Magician energy. The Eight of Wands, the Nine of Cups, the Four of Wands, and over here is this Three of Wands. Oh my God, you avoid this sort of manipulation energy. You're really showing up like Nine of Cups. So Scorpio, a lot of you definitely attracting attention, but who gets your time and attention, right? I feel like you pulled back. So even if you were like starting a relationship or partnership, I feel like you held back a lot. So you were able to sort of navigate this energy. Really interesting. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Someone was all about the money with the Seven of Pentacles there. And there's that world card energy. Damn, so... Probably wasn't no catfish and energy, right? So, damn. Damn, Scorpio. So, you, you didn't miss an opportunity. Some of you avoided this. This was a good sort of... Uh, you made a smart decision with this, right? Damn. Good news energy, good opportunity energy here. Over that is the Nine of Wands. Who's this Nine of Wands? The Four Swords. Damn, some of you are definitely going to uh, have a relationship or partnership that is going to be different. But, you know, be street smart and wise here. Be street smart and wise here. So, you know you. Capricorn energy is around, but you're taking your time. So, that tells me you're doing your shadow work, right? Who wants you for you and who uh, wants you for something else here, Capricorn, right? Or Scorpio. Damn Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or just that sort of Capricorn vibe. Treehouse, find peace in being alone. Solitude, introspection, and independence. This is elevation energy with you. My oh my, cold lands. Learn how to keep yourself warm. Abandonment challenges and aloofness. Damn, look at that. So, Scorpio, a lot of you avoid this because relationships or partnerships really isn't what you're focused on, right? Uh, this could definitely have to do with your astrology, Scorpio. So those of you, if you haven't uh, seen, especially what Aquarius has done in your charts, right? And that's going to be different for all of you. So uh, if that's your thing, right? Damn, there's such a difference with you. Some of you, it's because you're not interested in relationships or partnerships. So if you have decided to sort of take time for yourself, go on a little sort of respite, um, right? Some of you declutter and de, uh, um, just sort of getting back to nature, right? Turning off the phones, not being around the electronics, uh, focusing more on you, getting out there in nature. Some of y'all, the cold lands energy. You could be taking cold showers, doing like the cold plunge, right? That's good for the skin, sort of a, a inspiring little thing there. Whatever this vibe is with you. I think you avoid it because you're not thirsty for a relationship or partnership. You know what I mean, Scorpios?
I'm telling you, Scorpio is figuring out what it is you do want. Uh, type of relationships. Moving forward, switching it up. Very interesting here. Some of you, it's, it's taking it back to something very sort of uh, basic, right? So some of you could definitely be off your social media. Some of you could be dating more organically, meaning you meet them the old-fashioned way. And that makes all the difference with you. There's definitely this sort of decluttering energy. More focused on natural vibes, right? <laughs> There's the Nine of Swords. There with that hangman energy. Crown on that is the Empress energy. My oh my. Damn, see when you pull focus back on you, right? When you're focusing on you and you're doing your own thing, right? You're not interested in a relationship or partnership. So, damn, Scorpios, right? Some of you, you definitely have the opportunities, but it's it's more, someone was five of swords and five of cups. And so some of you could have been in a relationship where it was just a continual back and forth between I love yous and fussing and fighting, right? But there really wasn't a whole lot of love there. It was just sort of pentacle energy. So you avoided that sort of toxic connection because it wasn't like a really sort of positive vibe. Some of you, this could definitely be your astrology as well. The High Priestess, the Seven of Wands, the Six of Swords, the Five of Cups, the King of Cups. There you are, Scorpio, with the Hermit energy. Mm. You're hard to read, so if someone was trying to get readings on you, right? You're sort of doing your own thing here. You got that Gemini energy, but some of you, I feel like that you learning to love yourself and give to yourself. Because a lover doesn't always mean a relationship or partnership. That's the Gemini duality. So some of you learning to give that love to yourself, making healthy choices in your relationships or partnerships, especially those of you that can get, if you fall in love deep and fast, right? Yeah, a lot of that energy didn't work. A lot of that energy didn't work. Some of you, I do feel like there's a switch up here. Some of you definitely with your astrology. So stay focused on that. My oh my. Some of you, there's opportunities coming towards you, but they're going to be different. They're going to be different. When you date, when you uh, start dating, you're gonna it's gonna be more organic. So a lot of you, it's gonna be uh, more one-on-one -on -one conversations, more sort of focused on that. Some of you, uh, especially if you're not on like dating sites, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be the same old, same old. You know what I mean? If that's even your interest here, Scorpios, take what's yours and leave what the fuck isn't. So how are you taking your time? That's what sort of made all this sort of switch up with you. You definitely had choices. You had options. But if you fall in love really quick and really fast, right, you're kind of wiser to the game on that. So you take your time. So you've turned opportunities down. Some of you, the Hierophant, maybe you're taking a little vow. It's uh, celibacy. Whatever you got going on, some of y'all looking at it a little different from a spiritual standpoint. Damn, no Scorpio. There's a complexity to this. That's for damn sure. Nine of Wands, Two of Wands, and Scorpio. Yeah, you got crosswatch your energy because you're just sort of doing your own thing. There's this sort of guidance energy with you too. Very sort of unencumbered energy. The High Priestess, Temperance Angel, taking yourself into consideration. And there's that sort of Six of Pentacle energy. Yeah, into that sort of Capricorn energy. So I know you're doing your shadow work. You're definitely turning down offers and opportunities. Who or what's important to you? You're definitely hard to read. So I like that vibe with you, Scorpios. I do feel like there's accomplishment on your own. So there's things that you need to do on your own. Uh, and a lot of you, that sort of... Uh, uh, it's like it degauses you from any of that sort of static energy you don't need. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. 
some of you, especially when it comes to maybe romance in you, right? You had to sort of uh, cleanse yourself of some of that sort of stuck, stagnant energy. Especially if you fall in love, you fall in love fast, and you fall in love deep. And you've definitely been played, right? So I think you're wiser to that. This is a beautiful switch up with you. There's definitely a change up. I think that Aquarius uh, kind of coming into your charts really made a difference, right? You got Virgo energy here. My, oh, my Scorpios. I'll take what's yours and leave what the fuck isn't, Scorpio. You want a relationship? There's a relationship, but it's kind of Ten of Pentacles. So someone's probably wanting to move really fast. So, you know, be mindful of that. Some of you focusing more on you. There's a sort of just cleansing yourself of the sort of negative that you don't need. Some of you, this could definitely be in your astrology chart. So what's your favorite astrologer? There's a simplification with you. That's for damn sure. And I like it. You're going to date differently. So some of you, it's going to be more sort of one-on-one -on -one vibes. Some of you, def I definitely don't feel like you're on your socials. Because you sort of pulled your energy back. You're hard to read. Something might show up as a relationship with you, Scorpio. But some of you are just sort of learning to love yourself. That's that yin-yang energy coming in. Especially if you've turned down offers and opportunities to go focus on yourself. Damn. Think what's your Scorpio. Leave what the fuck is it, right? Good luck, God bless. Like, share, subscribe. Ooh, I like this with you, Scorpios. Very, you're moving out of that sort of manipulative energy. That's for damn sure. Definitely focusing on you. Good luck, God bless.